I am here with Olivier Aubin Mercier fighting November 24th at the PFL Championship in Washington, D.C. against Clay Collard. Looking to repeat as champion back to back. Ollie, how is everything feeling a couple of months out from this one? Well, pretty good. You know, I didn't really get hurt in my last fight. So uh, I started training maybe 10 days after the fight. And uh, I, I'm not in training camp, I would say, but I, I started training. So I train twice a, a day right now. So back in back in the gym uh, after a wee bit of time off, but not fully in yeah. camp yet. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back to that that fight against Bruno Miranda. Just uh, what were your takeaways from it? Obviously, another big finish, and you've started to become a finisher. Three finishers in your last three finishes in your last four fights. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Actually, you know, I, I was known for uh, to be a decision uh, decision guy. Well, be like in the beginning, I would say I, I was known for uh, to be a submission uh, dude, and then uh, decision, and then uh, KO. <laughs> So it's a pretty funny uh, evolution, you know. Uh, but I'm happy, you know. You're always happy to uh, uh, to finish uh, your opponent. It showed uh, uh, that that you're better, you know. So uh, I was really happy with what I did uh, in this fight. Uh, I showed some great stuff. I take on the ground, uh, showed a system I was uh, working on for a couple months. So uh, I was really happy with that. Is there anything in particular that you attribute these finishes to? Has anything changed for you in camp? Is it just the opportunities you're seeing in the, in the fight you're able to capitalize? Well, I think it's opportunity, you know, and uh, like uh, I do think it's a lot about the, the opportunity, the maturity I have now. Uh, I'm calmer, you know, about uh, uh, about those stuff and uh, so that that's that's how I, I see it. I mean, last year I finish uh, I finish uh, uh, the final with a KO, but the fight before too, uh, like I mean, I I uh, knocked down uh, the guy two times. So it's like I was not able to finish it, but it's I was close. And I think uh, this year I understood that I have to take my time when I that that kind of stuff happened, and that's what I did with uh, Miranda. You know, I took my time on the ground. Well, wow. definitely paid off. Another big win, another final. Having gone through this once before, is the feeling similar? Do you feel a little more prepared, a little more at ease this time? How's uh, how's it differ? Yeah, it's uh, it's easier this year. Uh, this year, you know, I I knew what uh, what was up. You know, so like I I ask a guy to uh, to help me with uh, injury prevention, and I think it really helped. Last year I was uh, injured all year long, and this year I got a little a little injury two fights ago. But uh, now it's it's good, you know. I, I didn't get really hurt this year, uh, so I'm really happy with that. And the injury I got two uh, two fights ago was a freak accident. Um, last year, sometimes it was not really a freak accident. I think I. Had, my my body was just worked out, you know. Uh, so this year I feel great. I feel more in shape too. So everything everything is really good uh, for me this year. And I I don't have the pressure on my shoulder either. You know, I don't really uh, uh, feel like last year that it was was kind of stressful. You know, uh, uh, this fight one fight could change your life, and like this time I'm just here to uh, to have a bonus. So. Uh, yeah, I feel better than last year, that's for sure. Well, that's good to hear. When we spoke last year, you actually hinted that you might not come back for this regular season. You were kind of questioning it. How much of that was the injuries and, and the stress? Uh, all of it. <laughs> I would say <laughs> all of it. Uh, but uh, this year is different. You know, I have the same, uh, uh, I say the same thing. Uh, but I have uh, other stuff, you know. It's uh, I'm just uh, I'm just tired. I think I just need a big break, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do after this fight. I'm gonna take a year off minimum, and it could be could even be my uh, my last fight. I'm gonna see uh, how I feel, but uh, like uh, right now, I need a break. You know, I need vacation, and uh, 
they say, yeah, but you had vacation in between uh, the two seasons. It's a uh, bro, the vacation are so small. It's a, it's a month, it's a month and a half. And then you have to go back in training camp. So no, it was not a real vacation. So uh, I need uh, at least a year off this time and I'm going to see how I feel. And uh, if this is the end, this is the end. If it, if it's not, it's not, you know, that's uh, that blows me away because you're having such success. Um, I won't ask you about the retirement because that seems like it's maybe, maybe it will, maybe you won't. But in terms of that year off, are, are you set in stone that you're going to take a year off? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. There's no, there, like, you know, stuff happened in life and uh, some stuff happened in my life. So, uh, yeah, I do think uh, I need a year off right now. The ability to do that, how much of that is helped by the money you won last year and potentially what you could win this year? Because, you know, ne- you don't necessarily have to fight for a bit with that security. Yeah, exactly. I think that's uh, that's a lot. And uh, that's not only that, you know, I think uh, uh, with all the interview, all the stuff I did here in Quebec, uh, it would be fair to say that even though I stop fighting now, I'm going to have a job elsewhere pretty easily. So um, I'm not really stressed uh, about that. And uh, it's that's good, you know, to to not worry about money. Uh, like I don't buy, well, I buy a little bit of crazy stuff, but uh, the truth is uh, uh, like I like to be careful with my money. So, yeah. Um, I think the financial liberty uh, is great. You know, it's uh, it's truly great if you don't uh, use it too much because uh, you could uh, you could uh, you could be on the street or pretty fast with uh, even with a million bucks. Absolutely. Well, you know what? It is great to hear that you're in a good spot. Let's talk about this fight. I spoke to Clay earlier today. Uh, he says he's excited for the challenge. At the same time, he doesn't necessarily think this is going to be a banger. What are you expecting from the fight? Yeah, tell him it's going to be a banger. I think uh, we're going to trade standing up, you know. Um, tell him to be careful with leg kicks. Tell him to be careful with uh, his defense. The, the, the thing with Clay, though, it's uh, when you punch him once, he punch you like three times after that so i i do have to be careful <laughs> about that actually um but yeah t- t- tell him tell him that next time you see him you know uh well i probably will hopefully uh, talk to both of you again before this is all said and done but is that kind of the key don't get drunk because he's known for these wars he just had one with shane burgos is the key just yeah don't get drawn into this kind of ex- those kind of exchanges with him yeah, of course. Like the dude's a warlord, you know. He is a uh, it's crazy. So I have to be really careful with that. Uh, don't stay in traffic, you know. I have to uh, to stay away from him, and uh, that's the hard part with uh, those kind of fighter. You know, the the type of fighter that have so much volume. You have to be really careful with that because even though it's not like you know, I would say like the perfect technique, uh, some's gonna touch you. That's for sure. And uh, um, I think that's a danger with uh, with Clay. And uh, Clay truly uh, is a berserker. So, uh, yeah, I have to be careful with that. Absolutely. Now, this is kind of the point of the interview where I'd normally ask about, you know, or do you want to do the super fights or do you want to go back into the tournament and yada, yada, yada. We've already kind of covered that. You're going to at least take a year off. Um, I'm curious, though, would you stay involved in the sport, like, you know, we, we're seeing your teammate, George St. Pierre, coming back and doing a grappling match. Is that something that would appeal to you? Yeah, I would like to uh, just involve. Uh, but there's a lot of option. You know, uh, I could stay involved doing uh, grappling max, uh, like a GSP, or I could help PFL, you know, find the, the next uh, the next uh, fighters from, uh, from Quebec, from uh, Canada, you know. Uh, I would like to grow PFL in here in Canada. Like I think I did my my part. I think uh, I was the best investment for PFR for a long time. If I'm being honest, um, so I think I grow uh, PFL here, and I would like to continue that uh, uh, to do that. You know, to uh, to find new uh, 
maybe new athletes from here and uh, that would be that would be great and i would like to bring pfl in, in quebec that's for sure too well would love to see it the pfl has yet to come to canada and you know you've had some big name canadians they're not here anymore but like the sarah kaufman's or julia buds and obviously this year you had uh, yourself and anthony romero mm -hmm. um that would be very cool to see Mentioned GSP. We don't know who his opponent yet uh, is, but uh, who would you like to see him grapple against? Because Khabib's been thrown out there. Charles Oliveira has been thrown out there. Um, I think the smart thing to do would be uh, Diaz, uh, personally. Because they got the name. and um, uh, But after that, uh, Habib would be great, you know. Uh, um. Yeah, I think Habib would be uh, awesome uh, after the deal, you know. Uh, I think I think both GSP and uh, and Habib need a fight before that. Um, but at the end, I think that's what uh, everybody wants to see. Do you think he'll do more than one grappling match? Is this a one-off, or do you think he'll he'll come back and do one or two more? It's a good question. I mean, if if. I mean, we all know, like, GSP was really open about that, that uh, uh, the stress was a big part of the reason why he, he stopped MMA. But he still loved training, you know, and he's still good. I can tell you that. Uh, but if you don't feel that much pressure doing uh, uh, grappling, uh, I think we could see him more often, you know, doing grappling. And, like, I don't want to take away anything from a grappler, but it's true, it's not as stressful as uh, MMA. You know you can uh, you can fight every every week, and uh, it's not uh, it's gonna be okay. You no, know? so I do think we're gonna see him a little bit more. I have to talk to him about that, uh, so, but I would like to see more. That's for sure. Well, definitely would love to see it, Canadian legend. You yourself have become a Canadian legend. Um, you mentioned the stress and, and him walking away due to stress. How much do you feel that sort of stress yourself? I was feeling it a little bit more last year, but this year, it's to be honest with you, uh, I'm not. I'm truly not. And that's one of the things that scared me a little bit. So I think that's why I, I need a break. Um, we saw a huge upset this past weekend. Sean Strickland beats <laughs> Israel Adesanya. Yeah, your reaction says it all. Do you think stress could have played a factor in Izzy's defeat? Just because he was fighting so frequently for a champion and you know a lot about a busy schedule fighting in the pfl um you know so frequently for a champion and then he finally beats alex Pereira, gets the belt back and then we saw what happened this weekend how much do you think stress plays a factor there yeah uh, could be stress could be like he was stars you know i mean three fight uh if you fight a year as a champion, it's crazy. Like normally, champion fight once or twice a, a year. He did three times. Um, so I do think it was probably too much. I mean, you, you fight, you you win against Pereira. You know, the biggest fight of your life uh, it was a vengeance. And then uh, two months later, you have to uh, start again. So it's. Not even two months later, maybe uh, one month later, you have to start again the training camp. So I think that probably was too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the thing, you know, we we, we feel invincible, but truly we are not. And um, maybe like some stuff happened in his life. Maybe the motivation was not there against Sean. Uh, who knows? But Sean wa was there to, uh, to fight and he had like a perfect... Uh, uh, like strategy, you know, and uh, yeah, hey, it's pretty funny, you know. He, like Sean Strickland as a as a champion, like <laughs> it's the same thing as Trump as president, you know. <laughs> I, I I cannot get over the fact that Sean Strickland won a title, and his post fight post fight speech was the least controversial of the night. <laughs> Bro, could you believe? I'll, like imagine um like how stress Dana White and all those guys were <laughs> after two F bomb they were like oh no not not the third one let's let's not the third one <laughs> let's let's be honest we were all kind of waiting for it and he took the high road and surprised everyone. <laughs>
Um, yeah, and we, like we we saw Sean Strickland, like we not really see him a lot, you know. He was really emotional, and it was beautiful, you know. It was it was really good, and he was honest, and uh, uh, it actually touched me, you know. Uh, I think it was great to see him like this, uh, not as funny as uh, we all hoped, but uh, yeah. We well, definitely broke character a little bit. Uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you one more before I let you go. Uh, and, and I'm curious, because like I said, you, you've now talked about, you know, maybe this is the last one. You're going to at least take a year off. How much of a factor will the schedule play for you if you do come back? Like if you decide I'm going to keep going, is there any chance you go into the tournament format, the season again, or is that done and you would just do the super fights if you do come back? I don't know, man. Like, like I said, I would like to uh, bring a uh, PFL in Montreal. I don't think they're gonna do a pay per view here in Montreal, uh, so I'm gonna have to talk to a PFL. But to do another uh, like season, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. You know, <laughs> like I saw, I saw some. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I saw some of the um, the champion do. Uh, one fight, you know, to try to get into the the tournament, they missed. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm, I can do four fights a year again. It, it's really draining, you know. Well, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have my eye on it. If the PFL manages to get to Canada, Montreal, I don't care where it is, anywhere in the country, I am there. So I hope you can uh, get that accomplished. Either way, really looking forward to the fight, November twenty fourth. OAM, thanks again for the time as always, and best of luck against Clay Collard. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Have a great day. Bye-bye.